I'm so sorry, I looked at you and I couldn't. <laughs> Hey guys, it is so good to be here with you guys today. Hey, I was thinking, let's play a game to start out today. Have you guys ever played a game of charades? Well, it's okay if you haven't. The way that we're going to play today is I'm going to act out the word and you guys are gonna yell out your guess. Now, we're gonna keep track of how many you guys can get right. I was a gymnast, like Simone Biles. Here's the next one. Woo. Okay, good job, you guys. I was acting out an airplane. Okay, here we go. an elephant you guys are right okay here is our last one you guys you guys got it okay you guys got it right I was a fish you know our last word reminded me of our story today where Jesus feeds 5,000 people. So we can find this story in the book of John, which is one of the gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. These are the four books in the New Testament that tell us all about Jesus's life. John was one of Jesus's closest friends. He was there by Jesus's side as Jesus taught people about God. And he performed miracles like the one that we're looking at today. One day, Jesus and his disciples sailed across the Sea of Galilee. Wherever Jesus and the disciples went, a huge group of people followed. The people had heard about how Jesus taught about God in a whole new way and how he had healed people who were sick. Jesus and his disciples got out of their boat and sat down on a mountainside. Jesus and the disciples could see that there was a huge crowd approaching. We're talking like thousands of people, like Disneyland line kind of people. There was a problem though. It was time to eat and all those people would be hungry. Jesus knew what he was about to do, but he spoke to Philip, one of his disciples saying, where can we buy bread for these people to eat? Philip wasn't sure what to do. He told Jesus, suppose we were able to buy enough bread for each person to just have a bite. That would take more than a half a year's pay. Philip was right. Buying enough food for thousands of people would be expensive. And where could they even find that much food? Then another one of Jesus' disciples, Andrew, spoke up. Andrew said, here is a boy with five small loaves of barley bread. He also has two small fish. But how far will that go in such a large crowd? You could understand why Andrew didn't think this was very helpful. How could a few loaves and a couple of fish help when there were thousands of hungry people to feed? Jesus told the people to sit down on the mountainside. He took the loaves of bread and gave thanks. Then he handed the bread to the people who were sitting nearby. Then he did the same thing with the fish. That's when the miracle happened. Somehow, the food that the boy had brought had turned into enough food to feed over 5,000 people. Everyone in the crowd ate as much as they wanted to. And after everyone had finished, Jesus told the disciples to collect all the leftovers that were gathered. And those leftovers filled over 12 baskets with the remaining bread and fish. Wow, what an amazing story and what an amazing miracle. The boy in the story didn't have much, just a little bit of bread and fish, but he chose to give what he did have to Jesus. Others might have said nothing, thinking that their small amount of food wouldn't make a difference. But this boy chose to share what he had, and Jesus used that one small gift to perform a miracle that fed thousands of hungry people. Here's what we need to remember. 
Use what you have to help others. Say that with me. Ready? One, two, three. Use what you have to help others. Okay, one more time. One, two, three. Use what you have to help others. Here, let's watch this video to help us understand the story today. Stories of the Bible. Jesus feeds the 5,000. This is Jesus. hey -o! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He did many miracles and healed people of their sickness. Oh, hey, everyone. A huge crowd kept following him wherever he went because they saw his miraculous signs as he healed the sick. A crowd started to gather around Jesus. There were 5,000 men and many more women and children. Turning to Philip, he asked, Hey, Philip! Where can we buy bread to feed all these people? You see, Jesus was testing Philip, for he already knew what he was going to do. Um... Philip replied, Even if we worked for months, we wouldn't have enough money to feed them. Hey, I got an idea. Then Andrew spoke up, There's a young boy here with five barley loaves and two fish. But what good is that with this huge crowd? Jesus said, tell everyone to sit down. Right, everyone, sit down. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks to God, and gave them to the people. There you go. Afterward, he did the same with the fish, and they all ate as much as they wanted. Want some more? I'm all good, thanks. After everyone was full, Jesus told his disciples, Now gather the leftovers, so that nothing is wasted. You got it. So they picked up the pieces and filled 12 baskets with scraps, left by the people who had eaten from the five barley loaves and two fish. Wow, that sure was an amazing miracle that Jesus did to meet the needs of those hungry people. That's right, and the boy had no idea that his little bit of bread and fish could help feed the whole crowd, but he chose to step up and share, and Jesus took it from there. Compassion means caring enough to do something about someone else's needs. We should show compassion and be willing to share what we have as well. And I know you might not feel like you have a lot to give, but when you choose to trust God and offer what you have, God can use it to meet the needs of other people in a really big way. You could invite someone to play your favorite game, especially if it seems like they're looking for a friend. Or you could let someone borrow a book you really love that would show them that you care and that you're thinking of them. Or you could think of a way to share a special skill or talent that God has given you. Like if you're good at spelling, you could help a friend with their homework, or maybe your brother or sister. Or if you're good at art, you could share a drawing of yours with a friend who is feeling down. You could even give your time to meet the needs of others. You could help your parents collect food or clothes for other people who maybe don't have a lot. You could even just smile at someone who looks like they're having a hard day. There are so many ways that we can share what we have to meet the needs of others. We just need to look closely for those opportunities to show compassion and to treat others the way that we want to be treated. If we do, we're living out what Jesus said in Matthew 5, 16. Let your light shine so others can see it. Then they will see the good things you do and they will bring glory to your Father who is in heaven. Let's pray and ask God to help us show compassion now. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for this beautiful day. God, I thank you that we are able to see the amazing miracles that you have performed in the past. God, I pray that this week and even for forever that we would be able to show compassion and love to those around us. And in your name we pray, amen. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and to check out our other super cool videos. And also don't forget that we have church for you and your whole family on Wednesday nights and on Sunday mornings. Well, you guys, I've had a blast with you today. So I'll see you guys later.